an external docking airlock. You can get inside from here. Or rather, great, let's go. Detailed information about the liner's cooling system in my database, but I'm sure you'll have to find something and break something. I wonder if you can call icicles icicles in zero gravity. Technically, they form in a different way, which means they must have another name. Orbicles, for example, or uh, expandicles, bursticles, pressuricles. I don't know. I'll allocate one of my processors for generating the name, perhaps. Looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. So it is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here. And according to my data, there were many of them. The design of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. Amazing! I can't imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. sort of a, uh, box? No, probably a computer, or a room, or maybe a data block, or a barrel with a button. I haven't fully studied what it should look like. Wait a second, this mosaic. So that's why your relative's face seems so familiar to me. A brilliant engineer, one of the creators of the core, and the father of artificial intelligence. It's him! Amazing! Are you sure you're not adopted? According to some sketchy fragments of data, I assume that it might be the office of your grandpa and his team. Did you know that he was supposed to be on board the liner? Good thing you only need to pass from a corpse, but not the corpse itself. Apparently, your grandpa was supposed to fly as a crew member and monitor the corps' activity. I wish I'd had a chance to talk to him. I suggest using a handy scrapper. Great. 
enough damage. I've made a blueprint of the cooling unit. You can feel how hot my logic board is. No less than 85 degrees. Area of the bladder. We really need it, but they don't. Another elderly person with cardiac failure. I don't envy their funerary spacesuits. It must be so stressful for them. When installing it, don't touch the core shell. Great, it works! At least now you won't get fried inside of me and smear my lining with your combustion residue.